We have an excessive heat warning through Wednesday evening. For weeks, the Texas heat has been setting records. Either way you put it, it's going to be hot. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the Texas grid is also expected to set new demand records, with Wednesday peaking at 81.6 gigawatts, 11% higher than the all-time record before this year. What we're experiencing right now is going to be our new normal for a while. Michelle Richmond uh, runs the trade association that represents 60% of all generation on the grid. Market generators have been concerned about this problem for a while. This demand isn't sustainable. If you're not paying attention to climate science, and you're operating a grid, you're going to be unprepared. Doug Lewin is a clean energy consultant. He and Richmond worry about old generators forced to put off scheduled maintenance this summer to keep up with demand. You're taking your 50 plus year old car, not changing the oil and running it at 80, 90, 100 miles an hour every day. Like something's going to break. Richmond says regulators need to change priorities from affordability to reliability, meaning more thermal than wind or solar. Getting this market design change to emphasize reliability is absolutely critical to the future of our grid. That is a false choice. Lewin it says bills would skyrocket beyond the sharp gains customers are already feeling. Any vision of the future for the Texas grid or any other grid that just says affordability is just not a concern, it's just ludicrous and crazy. But any outage would again create questions about the future of the grid in the heat or the cold. In Dallas, I'm William Joy.